What's poppin' guys? So for today's video, it's gonna be kinda short. Um, but I wanna make a Christmas video because I love the holiday uh, times. It's a fun time. I watch a ton of movies, family, friends, everything, you name it, I got. Alright, so I, I wanna talk about Merry Christmas Drake and Josh. I'm gonna be watching this again tonight and every holiday season I watch this one at least like three or four times. I don't know, just something about the story really gets me. And by the way, Drake Bell's uh, performance is great, but let's get into La Review. Yeah, you know what I meant. <laughs> of this movie is Josh accidentally gets in jail and then Drake accidentally gets in jail trying to break him out and uh, at the beginning of the movie Drake promises this girl Marianne that's with the foster home hey uh will you give me the best Christmas ever and he's like yeah sure whatever I'd love to give you the best Christmas ever you know so so um the judge is like I want you to go to jail for I think like 15 years, I believe, and, um, Drake and Josh is like, wait, I made a Christmas promise, and then Helen's their lawyer, and she's like, you can't break a Christmas promise, don't do it, bruh, and, <laughs> and, um, it's just a really fun ride, you got Crazy Steve in there, all the Drake and Josh characters, Megan, um, what's their, Walter, He's in there. They're they're going on some some trip in this, but is it entertaining just to see it? And then there's that really mean guy that they add a little bit of characteristics to, where like, um, he's trying to like get them arrested, and he really hates Christmas, and all the actors are just doing a really solid job, and you you could tell that they're trying. Like the first. Uh, 45 to an hour of this film is really just like one big uh, comedy Drake and Josh movie and then it just kind of twists into your average Christmas adventure so I, I do like the movie a lot I think uh, it's heavily based on nostalgia but is it a good film totally it's, it's, it's just a really good film there's not a whole lot to talk about I mean uh, crazy Steve he's, he's funny as heck in this uh, Craig and Eric, they're in it a little at the beginning. Uh, Helen's in it. She's just really funny in it. And then you get that whole big Christmas party at the end. And, and one of my favorite scenes where Crazy Steve puts, like, the snow chipper stuff in. That's really cool. <laughs> I, I, do, I do like the film. There's so much it has to offer that's cool. And, like, it was released a year after Drake and Josh was canceled. So, like, that's pretty cool just to see, uh, you know, Drake and Josh ending. And then you get a whole new thing. That's really, really cool to see. It's, is it good? By, by no means. But, uh, today, tomorrow, there's going to be a bunch of Christmas reviews. I'm doing this one kind of quick. I know there's just not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, it's funny. I gave you the premise. I don't know, what more do you want from me, man? But but it's really good. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. I think it's playing Teen and Nick, like, 8 o'clock tonight. So uh, set your DVRs and uh, peace and have a good Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. Yeah, Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs>